In this video, I'll be showing you how to get the perfect rose gold mirror chrome manicure using gel and with regular nail polish. So first I'll be showing you how to do this with gel because traditionally you use chrome powder over a no wipe top coat for the best results. But whichever method you choose, you're gonna wanna start with clean groomed nails. For the gel method, I also like to lightly buff my nail to give the gel a little bit of a rougher surface to adhere to. It's important to use a gel paste coat for two reasons. One, you want to protect your nails against dark colors that you might be using, and two, gel based coat is designed to be the middleman between your natural nails and colored gel. Without this, the colored gel won't stick well and it could shrink during curing. For my base coat, I'm using this peel off one by Butter London. I don't actually use it for its purpose. I like it because it lasts pretty long, but it also helps whatever gel I put over top remove a little easier. I do still soak the gel in acetone, but this base definitely helps the removal process. I won't go too much into how I apply the gel because I'll be doing a more in-depth video on gel application soon, but basically apply a thin coat of the gel, making sure to cap the free edge, then cure it according to the gel's instructions. Next, you'll need a black gel polish. This one isn't good at all, but somehow it's the only black gel I have, so I had to make it work. I ended up having to do three thin coats of this to get it fully opaque and I cured between each layer. A smooth surface is very important when using chrome powder because it will show every single bump or dent that might be in the polish. So make sure you're mindfully applying the gel and try to get it as smooth as possible. On the last layer, I actually like to flip my hand upside down before curing so that gravity will pull the gel towards the middle of my nail and create a nice, smooth, curved surface. Next, you're gonna need a no wipe top coat gel. This basically means after you cure the gel top coat, there won't be a sticky layer left on your nails to remove. This is the not so secret ingredient to perfect chrome nails. Again, be mindful when applying this to keep the surface as smooth as possible, but I also try to make sure to cover the black completely so that the chrome won't have any of that black showing once you apply it. Once your no wipe top coat has cured, it's chrome time. The rose gold chrome powder I'm using is from whatsupnails.com and this costs about $15, which is pretty pricey, but you get a ton of powder and a little bit goes a really long way. There's a bunch of different ways to apply this. My preferred way is just to take a cosmetic wedge and I dip it into the pigment and then I rub it into the sponge using the lid of the powder. Then you just wipe it over your gel nails. The more you buff it, the shinier and more mirror-like it will get. I feel like this part is very mesmerizing so I'm just gonna shut up and let you watch. Another thing I like to do is flip the sponge over to a clean side and I rub the surface to make sure all the chrome powder has been pressed in and smoothed down. To preserve the chrome finish, apply a gel top coat over top and cure it one more time. I used the same no wipe top coat gel as before, but you can totally use any top coat gel that you like here. Now for the regular polish technique, we're gonna start out the same way. You're gonna wanna apply a layer of base coat, a regular base coat, to protect your nails against staining. Next, you'll need a black nail polish. I applied two coats, or you can do just one if you have a very opaque black nail polish. 
Now, if your black polish dries really shiny and not matte or semi-matte, you don't need a top coat. But for the chrome powder to work with regular polish, you'll need the surface to be shiny and somewhat tacky. So I'm applying a glossy top coat and waiting for it to dry a little. You want it kind of tacky, not too tacky, just enough where if you rub your finger across the surface, you're not going to dent it. But if you pushed hard enough, especially with your nail, you would be able to dent it. This is kind of a trial and error process. It'll take you some getting used to, but I highly recommend you use your finger so that you can actually feel the pressure you're applying. Then pick some of the chrome powder up on your finger and I like to tap it over the nail to try to distribute the powder evenly and then I'll start to buff it in. I'll also switch to a clean finger to make sure the pigment is fully pressed in and smooth. The only downside to this method is sometimes the edges of the polish dry too quick and it's hard to get the chrome to stick to it, but if that happens to you, you can either go over it again with a top coat on a detail brush or just try to remove the black with an angled brush dipped in nail polish remover. And the most important part for using regular polish is to apply a water-based clear polish over top of the chrome to preserve its finish. If you use a regular top coat right on top of the chrome powder, it would just make it go completely glittery. Water-based polishes are often peel-off polishes, and I'm actually just using a peel-off base coat for this, and it works perfect. Then once the water-based polish has fully dried, you can add any top coat you'd like to make it more shiny. It will be a tiny less chromey and a little sparklier than the gel method, but it's still very metallic and the mirror-like finish is there. And that's it. Hopefully this will help you guys achieve this awesome rose gold chrome manicure at home. If you give it a try, I'd love to see pictures and you can share them with me on any of my social medias I have listed below. If you enjoyed this video, you can let me know by leaving me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to watch more effect powder nail videos, you can click on your screen here.